awesome. Hey everyone, if you're not familiar, I'm dropping out of my PhD in, I think about six months, and I have a series of things that I need to do to, um, my ultimate goal is to make around 5,000 a month in passive income. And so before I even start thinking about doing any of that stuff, I first need to hone in on a project and knowledge management system. And so for that, I'm using Obsidian and actually like a great review of what I've been doing so far and explaining sort of my overall process is my day five part one stream should be up soon. I'm just processing it. But anyways, now let's get into this. So we need to go through the different templates that uh, that I have for each file within my project uh, and refine refine the prompts there. So currently let's start at the overview. Oh, everything else has, I see. Okay. So let's just actually go and copy everything over. Budget and resources. So now the plan is let's make prompts. So here Actually, let's focus. Let's focus. There's a Oh, and so here we have to consider let's see if
Actually, I want to check something. I'll be back. Key setup, so it's kind of hard to navigate around this quickly. Oh, this is what I wanted. So I wanted to clearly define outcomes. Principles, that's our why. Principles, as long as we follow these. Project. This is our template overview. We start up a project and we address each of these. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Maybe there could be some slight adjustments. So 
Focus on quantity it's over quality. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's start even here. The aim of this brainstorm is to.
So we have these three out the way. Now we're on to project action plan. Oh, here comes in. Okay, so action plan. Detailed breakdown of task. Who, what, when. What's the difference between this and Stones can be text. This 
full of key milestones with their respective deadlines. and dependencies can be just written that we're aware of whatever milestones, whatever dependencies exist. Let's keep it simple for now. We want that to go to us. Yeah. So we do need to figure out that part at least. So now, action plan. So now for our action plan. Obsidian currently has no linking functionality, although I'm sure someone can build that up. But I'm mostly using this for my own projects. Describe the specific steps for each task. So where are we? So action plan, we're going to need to find a way to link stuff from action plan, 
people would love. Progress tracking. So I think there's also metadata. So I've seen files that have like this box at the top where you can, or properties maybe. I don't know if it's metadata or properties. And there we can keep the project start and end date. And that can be put, so, put into a file so that let's sub indent that. Milestones are under, so we'll need to figure out something there. Action plan. So this is list all required. Who? What's? When? So those are all part of the task. progress tracking one two three wait okay so this is where it starts to get tricky so do we have a file to track progress separately from the file in which we list the milestones and tasks. Do you envision usage for usage?
breaks down. That makes sense, that makes sense. I like that. It doesn't. It does make sense, but I'm trying to think about tracking. Because if you have multiple projects, tracking all of these is what makes it difficult. But I did mention I did mention where we need functionality within the previous two files, so then within the progress file, do we need any functionality there? To monitor. Yeah, let's just write it to do. do. How often do we update this? Push us to update it. How often we push us to update it. Let's just keep that like that. Keep that there as well. Example contents. For now, we'll keep that in each template until we really get the hang of um, updating it or of using it. Uh, this is for timeline milestone. Yeah. 
So this one's updating action fire. What about action fire? So now we have this, no, this one figured out as well. Did progress tracking need? None, probably not. So now we're finished here. Now research and development. Yeah, and it basically seems like we're not gonna need too much functionality many plugins to make this work. So resources. List all essential relevant to the project. Learning goals. Required. Learning resources. Essential material for understanding or developing a project. List essential resources. What knowledge needs to be acquired? Keep track of your learning progress. So. as well. Can you do this? Can you? Examples are really helpful. Can you provide me some examples for the files in the trial folder? for research and development, and then, well, for everything else.
budgets and resources. So we finished this one, we finished, right, so we were in research and development. Learning resources. Open it. Ah. regulatory requirements. Are there regulatory requirements? Okay, this is used to collect and review materials that contribute to understanding the industry. Okay, actually, let's first copy and paste everything that we mentioned in the notes and ideas file. So going back to learning resources.
continuing from where we left off, learning goals, and so while I doing that, the next one after that is notes and ideas, project notes and ideas. Stuff from the menu brainstorming results and then the menu thoughts are going I have new ideas and insights related to the project. So, in the same session, I want features, take more and options. Yeah, and so this one notes and ideas. This is sort of like in, it's a folder, and it's meant to contain notes, files of notes and ideas. And the structure of that, I think, will be mainly up to the user, the person, because, yeah, because I think different projects may have different needs for notes and ideas. So it's really just there as a placeholder for the user. Files and documents is in the library. Learning is free. What's the difference between files and files and files and files and files and This is, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, learning resources would be what we consume, files and documents is what we make. That's a good distinction. And then, notes and ideas are just miscellaneous stuff. Miscellaneous stuff that comes in. Mm, that's perfect actually. So we're in this one. Documents we make. Describe how these files are organized in order they can be accessed. List all initial mints and address. Learning resources are using them for consuming. Notes and ideas. Documenting. Perfect. And then from here. So I also have a I have a template for startups.
Yeah. So the template I've been following for my healthcare project within my university has been this. We've been approaching it as a startup. And so the folder that I have for our stuff follows what a startup would do. So there's branding and design, business and finance stuff, fundraising, legal documents, marketing and connection, pending this is when people need to add stuff, photos and videos of the file, of the team for, what do you call it, marketing purposes, or outreach, or yeah, marketing, whatever, um, media kits, I don't know, and the next is product engineering, then the general project direction, which is almost like the project partner a bit, uh, research publishing, so this is since we're academic, we also have that, and then this is our team, um, and so I'm wondering if Part of these files will be within there's some overlap or is the project structure that I'm making Project structure I'm making is for individual projects, efforts, and wait, how do we make the connection between an individual project or an individual effort and a whole effort, like a startup? is an effort however it's an effort with many layers to it i'll just write that as a to-do and think about it later project folder structure that I have since I'm going to be freelancing I'm also freelancing itself will be like a project and then with freelancing will be a project and then every app I have to make for a portfolio or for passive income will be its own project but it'll all be managed overall it'll there'll be two project folders and there'll be two project folders freelancing will oversee the, the app but the app can is self-contained that's what i would say Yeah, but then let's say an app can be a startup. There are people who are whose startup is only an app, really, and they've been accepted into Y Combinator. So I need to close that gap between making a startup or between a startups folder directory folder fires structure and the
Some may be worth pursuing as a startup. Should I close the gap between That's what I'm trying to say. And if, since my projects, my efforts, some of them may be startups, and so would this template translate, or do I need to make some adjustments? So self-evaluation is a periodic assessment of the project's progress against goals, examining both success and areas needed for improvement. So evaluate the current and like what's been working, what we need to improve. Yeah, that's good. Can you provide? Now for the final two files. Evaluation and improvement plan. So, so improvement plan and strategies for enhancing the project and adjusting the approach based on evaluations. Expected outcomes. Yeah. So this is fine for now. Wait. Periodic assessment. Yeah, I, I was thinking if we need, like, functionality, but periodic assessment, you can schedule. Actually, we should write that. To do. To schedule assessments. just follow whenever we have a situation for one week was address any theme in this file. 
left side is better than right. Okay. Almost done. Projects. Each project has multiple, each area of wellness, I mean, has multiple projects. Do we want to manage projects at each level, or do we want to manage it, manage all projects in one file, but also have like a note that it's from a particular area? For self evaluation, this is that. I'll just leave it. Current status we're on track, we're slightly behind. So that's a self evaluation. Strategies and actions and expected outcomes. Perhaps it's reassigned from less critical. Implement additional encryption conduct. Let's keep contacts and stakeholders involved in the plan. Maintain a log of important communications and meetings. Yeah, that's important. Document feedback received. Yeah, so let's just have... I'm surprised I didn't have that one.
so I, I can already tell. I'm probably gonna make adjustments to this file structure eventually. But I think the approach I wanna take overall is it's a living, breathing template that I'm not just gonna throw out. And so what I'm doing right now is still a very good start. And I say that, I say that I know I'm going to make adjustments because feedback and collaboration is basically customer discovery interviews. If you've ever had a startup, if you've ever, if you've ever had a startup, if you've ever looked into, if you ever tried to start a start of a startup, you need customer discovery interviews and seeing sort of what problems, pain points are out there. And the best way to do that is to interview people and um, yeah, so we've had to do that. I've had to do that. And this is essentially that. However, this is trying to, I'm hoping summarize the insights. Yeah, it, it has to be summarizing because this wouldn't be like, we're just, this is the only insight we're keeping and everything else we've, I don't know, thrown somewhere else. So essentially there's gonna be somewhere a file that has all the different interviews with a complete set of notes. And this is just summarizing feedback we've received. kind of interesting because because in the current folder I have for our our startup or our project our interviews go inside of where was it? I think maybe project direction and so it's just goes to show there's different ways to approach it. Different ways to approach folders and structures like this. So there's that. Yeah, if this was actually a startup we would probably, let's see. So let's for a second, just for fun, for shits and giggles. Let's assume this is a startup folder where would we keep files such as legal. Legal would go under, not the planning strategy, not research and development. Review and adjustment, no, no, I swear I had files, maybe, hmm, huh, then hmm. research and development, would legal go into research and development, yeah, see, that sort of doesn't make sense, so I'm not quite sure where legal would go, fundraising, Maybe, maybe, change the name of, switch these two. So this three would be, this third file would be files and documents broadly. Within files and documents, we can have research and development, we can have legal, or maybe project files. Yeah, project files and documents we yeah, research and development is one area. Fundraising is another. Legal is another. 
photos and videos. Yeah, that actually makes good sense. Let's write it down. That was a useful brainstorming session. So, we finished this. Yeah, we finished this. So now we're on. Feels like there's a bug on me. Now we're on final outputs. List all current work and final deliverables. Yeah, I was thinking maybe presentation. Yeah, presentations are common. Presentation, demonstration. I'm just wondering if there's a word more broad for presentation because we could, for example, be demoing it, but that can be a presentation. We could be pitching it, that's a presentation. Mm. Making a YouTube, or not, not necessarily YouTube, but a, a, a video or a demo video. But I mean, it's understandable. Let's just get chat to write up an example if possible. I don't see the need, but maybe there's. Actually, let's just let it, let's make it assume that it's possible and see if it, what it spits out.
project archive. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Wait a minute. Ah. Okay, so what did I copy? Project Archive. And the next one after that is Final Deliverables. Enhancements. There are or there were some to do. So let's see where that comes in. No. Was I Find file prompts. Oh, wait. Okay. I now just realize I might have forgotten to do something. Okay, so we're. Wasn't it? Oh, read me. Okay. Yeah, so this is what I was forgetting. Next. 
next actions? Where do next actions go? Okay, actually, let's go to brainstorm. Efforts. No, templates. That's right. Templates. Try to brainstorm. Explore. Plan the project. Yes, not actually. Okay, so brainstorming instructions at the end of the session. Start to develop a niche. and plan the project. What are the sub-projects? Are there things to think about? Priorities, plan the project, keep miles, actually. As identify next actions.
another thing we'll do actually is link. Identify next actions. Go to and yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, we're gonna look into how actions will be put over. And this is... Oh, do we want to link it? If we copy... Okay, that's another to-do.
Contacts and communication models. And communication. Folder file. And again, I'll just say template efforts. Perfect. Structure of system. the different efforts that we might have. So that will have to involve. Let's see. So this one is linked at inbox inbox, right? And here, brainstorm. Did I brainstorm everything completely? Uh, maybe not. Actually, I think we did because ChatGPT gave. I mean, we relied heavily on outlines. Or, how do you call it? Layered? Outline format. Um, so in some sense we did, but maybe there's a way to enhance it. But for now, it'll do. So now what we need to do is project management command. How we want to manage all the efforts, all the tasks within these efforts. offline start brainstorming and then maybe pick up tomorrow on whatever's on wherever I left off today <laughs> 